John Mundor finds that students are more engaged when they're involved in monitoring their own progress. I do a lot of progress monitoring in my class, but the students also do monitor their progress as well. And we'll do that in a, you know, a lot of different ways, whether it be reading logs. You know, if they're needing to read a certain number of pages, they're keeping track of that. Um, keeping track of comprehension scores on reading tests. We'll do a lot with, you know, they'll take their scores or their results on different activities and we'll graph those. Uh, line graphs are super powerful with kids just because you can see trends really easily with a line graph. Um, we, when we work on our reading fluency, that's something when, we, when we're done with a fluency intervention, we'll do a, a post-test and we'll, we'll plot that. And it's, it's powerful, you know, as a teacher to see growth. You know, it's, it's, it's empowering for a teacher to see that. When you see your students, those numbers are improving. But it's even more empowering for students when they see that occurring. And especially for students that have been previously, you know, marginalized in school. They've been left, left out. Not intentionally left out, but left out because of the disability that exists in the curriculum. Left out because of the barriers that are, that are embedded in, our, 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 in a non-universally designed curriculum. You know, students that are, aren't engaged at school. You know, they show up and they're slouched over. You know, those are kids that they're not, they're not, they don't have full access. And so when those students start to see for the first time, hey, if I put in the time here, if I, if I learn these strategies and I apply these strategies, look what, look what happens to these results.